Environmentalists I spoke with on the Treasure Coast are hoping that it also means fewer discharges to the east into the St. Lucie estuary, which hopefully will mean fewer toxic algae blooms. All smiles Wednesday in Clewiston. But 45 miles away, 323 million gallons of fresh water from Lake Okeechobee are being released into the St. Lucie estuary daily because of high lake levels. A fortified dike may change the equation. How do we take uh, advantage of the benefits of, of that capability and, and, and operate the, the lake and the system in a different way? The Army Corps is putting the finishing touches on a new plan that would guide how and when future discharges would take place. It's no secret that a stronger Herbert Hoover dike is about safety first. But it does mean that they have less of a risk if they have to hold it higher for whatever reason, temporarily at least, that'll maybe stay the discharges to the estuaries. It can absorb more water and not send the water on to the east and west coast right away. Environmental groups in attendance praising the work done here and also getting a chance to express their concerns to the Army Corps. It is not a cure-all, it's part of a, a greater system in which we really need more storage and treatment of water south of the lake. As for how discharges will be handled in the future, the new Lake Okeechobee System Operating Manual, or LOSUM, should be in place in time for this wet season. In Clewiston, John Shaneman, WPTV, News Channel 5.